people will trust you if you are honest but people sh will trust you also if you are competent and if you're not competent then you won't be considered someone who's trustworthy hey guys welcome back to the leadership stack podcast the podcast for entrepreneurs by entrepreneurs to increase your leadership teamwork and profits this is your host sean c aka mr ceo at 22. Question from Jazz. Is there a best leadership personality? Or what for you is the best leadership personality? Hey, great question. Leadership is mostly about styles. And there's no one style that is better than the other style. But it depends on the situation and the context. And the best leaders are those who can be more flexible. Because he who is the most flexible has the most influence. And leadership is about influence. Kaya kung marunong ka maging, ano, maging flexible, makakatulong yun sa'yo as a leader. So that's my answer to that. What are the best values you live by? Best values would be, number one, is trustworthiness. So trustworthy is a combination of character and competence. People will trust you if you are honest, but people sh will trust you also if you are competent and if you're not competent then you won't be considered someone who's trustworthy so yun yung isa ko trustworthiness um pangalawa of course yung values na no, na god first in 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 anything colossians 3 23 whatever you do work at it with all your heart as if working for the lord and not for men and another value for me is i am a forever a learner people call me an expert in what i do but for me, an expert is someone who is a student forever. So that's me. I will be a student forever. Like the story of Jigoro Kano, the one who created the discipline judo. Before he died, he told his students to put a white belt on him, signifying it's a symbol that he will forever be a student or a master is forever a student. So those are three things that I live by as part of my values. Kumbaga, yung trustworthiness is... Al I'll be excellent in what I do, and I will do my best to honor God in everything that I do. Next question for you, Jason, is what are your top five favorite books? Well, there's one, one book that I read every year. The title is The One Thing by Gary uh, Keller. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, Gary Keller is the name of the author. So The One Thing, I read it every year to give me better perspective. I think it's the best time management book that I've read or Ninga time management it's like he simplified how you can move from looking at a clock to looking at a an internal compass or using an internal compass um, that's one the one thing another book would be well of course Dale, Dale Carnegie's book how to win friends and influence people they consider it as a bible of communications John Maxwell's book is good 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Rich Dad, Poor Dad is another good book. But kasi hindi ako masyadong ano dun sa value si Kiyosaki, no? But that's a really good book. Saka yung book niya na Cash Flow Quadrant. More of mindsetting, how to change your perspective from an employee to an entrepreneur. And finally, another one. Grit. I love Grit also by Angela Duckworth. The Power of Persistence and Passion. It's a really good book. Great. And I've read I've read four of those except for the one thing. So I'm going to buy it on my Kindle soon after we end this call. I should read that. You're the second guy who recommended that to me. Two of those books that Jason just recommended, I've recommended also to past podcasts, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie and John Maxwell's The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. And, and all of those books, all of the four books, including Grit, and Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I do highly recommend that. We have the next question from Celeste. Yeah. How do you start your day so you can stay focused on your goals? There's a process when you start a day. Um, two good books out there is The Morning Mir Miracle. And then another one by Mel Robbins, yung The Five Second Rule. So when you start your day, because the yung morning natin, it will actually dictate what your whole day would be. So if you don't start 
your day right first thing in the morning then you won't be able to diba, to maximize your whole day but start your day right you na dire diretso siya when you wake up in the morning itong pwede niyong gawin use the 5 second rule parang rocket ship and she has a TED talk Mel Robbins it's been viewed by like millions millions of times and this lady is not just an ordinary speaker her speaking business now has reached more than a billion dollars. Tapos, yun nag speech siya sa TED Talk. 18 minutes ang TED Talk, di ba? Nasagian lang niya yung 5 second rule for like 20 seconds. Pero yun yung natandaan ng lahat ng tao. And she mentioned it in the 17, 18 minute mark. So pag salita niya ng ganon, di nakaisip siya ng book about it. Sobrang simple ng idea, no? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, take off. She was broke and didn't know what to do. 40 plus years old. Tapos nakakita siya ng rocket ship na nag-launch. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Kasi yung brain natin, na at ano tayo eh, we're attracted to patterns, di ba? And then we tend to follow those, that, that follow-up pattern. So yung nakita yung pattern niya, sabi niya, the next day I will use this. When I open my eyes, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then no matter what happens, even if I don't feel like doing it, I will stand up and start my day. Ako, I start my day as much as possible, no, reading the word. I read the Bible every day. I think I got this idea from uh, Tim Ferriss, yung 20-20-20. Yung 20 minutes spiritual, 20 minutes you read the book, um, more of mental, tas 20 minutes naman physical exercise. So that's one way also. But ang pinaka-importante is to start a pattern. And as much as possible, don't break the chain. See, si Jerry Seinfeld was interviewed. He wasn't interviewed, but this is from in, in the one thing. Well, yung author... Uh, he shared this story. Nasa circuit pa si Jerry Seinfeld. He was one of the most popular, most successful comedians. He was earning a million dollars per episode of his Jerry Seinfeld show before he decided to retire. Pago na siyang kumita ng pera. Hapos, di tinanong siya, what's your secret? Namiya never break the chain. What's that? Sa calendar niya, meron siyang nilalagay na mark na X. X mark. Yung X mark na yan, every day, Yun yung ano niya, yung way niya of knowing if he wrote a joke on that day. So every day he would write write a joke and he never breaks that chain. Yung XXX niya dun sa calendar, calendar niya. Kasi pag na-break mo yung chain na yan, once, okay, sige once. Pero pag twice, three times na, it becomes a habit. And then before you know it, the, the chain has been broken. This episode is partnered up with Armory.ph. Armory is an online watch store and is the exclusive distributor of the brands TW Steel, Dion Milano, Fonderia, Luminox, and Mondain in the Philippines. Yes, folks, those are Italian watch brands. If you are looking to buy your next go-to luxurious everyday watch, go to armory.ph and enter the coupon code LS30. Armory.ph delivers straight to your doorstep with a security tape to make sure that your package is safe from theft, arrives on time, and is guaranteed working 100%. Go to armory.ph and buy your first luxury watch today. Always under-promise and over-deliver. Under-promise and over-deliver. This means be humble with your approach. Try to show your products in a humble way. We're not boasting about this, but then try to surprise in a positive way. Try to exceed their expectation because Satisfying their needs is basic. This is the default stage should be. But exceeding their expectation means going beyond their expectations. 